Financial economist Paola Sapienza is well known for introducing cultural-based explanations to better understand economic outcomes. In her research, she finds that the inherited, slow-moving components of culture are at the root of a person's economic decisions. Classical economists thought about culture quite a bit. What happened, though, uh, with time is that uh, economics acquired uh, more sophisticated mathematical tools uh, and they were no longer interested in a cultural explanation. Culture became really simply an outcome driven by the economic condition. So in my research, I've tried to change the perspective and look at whether culture per se could be an explanation. I think a culture as uh, preferences, beliefs that are shared by uh, social, ethnic, uh, religious groups, and they are transmitted uh, pretty much unchanged from generation to generation. That uh, gives us the possibility of isolating the effect that comes from culture and the effect that comes from the economic condition. Sapienza's research shows that immigrants are a particularly good proof of the importance of certain cultural aspects because they may live in economic conditions that are very different from their country of origin. If the behavior is totally informed by the economic condition, we should see that immigrants living in the same area coming from very different countries and very different cultures, they should, uh, in principle, behave in the same way. If we observe that they behave very differently, this is an opening uh, for arguing that indeed culture plays a role. We know that Canadians have uh, preferences uh, for higher preferences for redistribution. Uh, but what is interesting is that uh, uh, American from Canadian ancestry Two or three generations ago, they still display similar characteristics despite having lived uh, all their life in the U.S. And so the question is, uh, uh, to what extent this is a very important factor, or at least an important factor that needs to be added to the standard economic uh, uh, theories. Sapienza's more recent work on the educational performance of immigrant students from long-term oriented cultures underlines the importance of cultural values, preferences, and beliefs that are transmitted from parents to their children. We wanted to measure whether immigrants of different origin perform differently depending on the long-term orientation of the country of origin of their parents. And we did find incredible results. So we found that uh, long-term orientation of the country of origin of your parents uh, affect uh, performance in math and, and uh, reading. More importantly, these kids, they grow more in terms of academic performance, uh, the higher the long-term orientation of the country of origin of their parents. Uh, we do find that uh, disciplinary incident are actually lower among those kids and they have fewer absence, uh, higher graduation uh, in high school. And so that is a really interesting uh, application uh, on uh, how these uh, feature preferences that are transmitted uh, uh, pretty much unfairly unchanged uh, from parents uh, to kids uh, have an impact. Uh,